In today's video, we are bringing you something new. Over COVID-19 for the last four or five months, we've been building a core team of engineers from all around the world, and some of them are participating in making videos for their own portfolio, doing things to serve their creative outlet, and also helping you guys and the community. So in this video, I'm super happy to announce two people who are nearest and dearest to this community, the first of which is Hamza Wahid, who's been around for about three years with this community. He wrote a blog back in the day and today he's our head of operations thank you so much Hamza for helping out with the scripting and also being the narrator of this video and this video was produced and edited by Sadhu Navanitha Navanitha Raj I'm saying the whole thing this video was produced and edited by a cool engineer named Sadhu Navanitha Raj Navanitha Navanitha vote below vote below one vote for the humans two vote for AI what do you think so this is the first video in the history of the show where we introduce some of the team. So take it away, Hamza and Sadu. Thank you so much, guys. Jump right into this video. If AI can actually dismantle humankind. Have you ever wondered if you could be made obsolete? Can artificial intelligence replace human intelligence? What can you do to make yourself relevant tomorrow? All of these questions and more starting right now. Hey, 1% Nation, I'm your host Hamza Wahid. If this is your first time to this channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button for engineering success. So without further ado, let's start by defining artificial intelligence. Artificial intelligence, or AI for short, is machines displaying intelligence. This can be seen from a machine playing chess to a robot answering a question on Facebook. Artificial intelligence can be further broken down into many different types. There are AIs that are designed to do specific tasks, such as detecting a specific type of cancer. However, there are also AIs that can do multiple tasks, such as driving a car. There are many different types of AI. Among the top most important fields are machine learning, neural networks, computer vision, and natural language processing. Most of the disruption in AI will take place in machine learning. Machine learning is the idea of machines learning or being able to improve themselves similar to how a human being learns a new skill. Machine learning also allows for the optimization of an existing skill. Machine learning is used in many different fields and one such application is entertainment. Netflix uses machine learning to recommend you more shows that you can watch based off of shows that you've already seen. Next up is neural networks. Neural networks are algorithms that are modeled after the human brain. These algorithms think just like we do, which can thereby give similar results to what a human being can give. ANNs are used in the medical field to diagnose cancers like lung cancer and prostate cancer. So how does this work? You just feel my pulse? So ah! 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 <sighs> the third most important field in AI is computer vision. Computer vision is the idea that computers have vision this allows them to see things the way human beings do, or potentially better than human beings do, depending on the programming, cameras used, etc. Computer vision is used in autonomous vehicles for navigation from one place to another. Last but not least, natural language processing. Natural language processing is the idea that computers can listen to what we say. An example of this is Siri. Hey Siri, call my girlfriend. Which one? Damn, it feels good to be a gangster. A real Siri is able to listen to our demand, process what it means, and can provide you an answer based off of what it researched. Now that we know what AI is and what it can do, let's talk about the issue. AI allows for the automation of jobs, thereby replacing what humans already do. This means more job loss and the concentration of wealth to the select few, aka the 1%. This could mean a destabilization of society and social unrest. In addition to social unrest, AI improves over time. This means it becomes smarter, faster, and cheaper to implement, and it will be better at doing repetitive and routine things that humans currently do, such as preparing fast food. It is predicted that AI will improve so much over 50 to 100 years that AI will become super intelligent. This means that it will become even smarter than the most intelligent human on Earth. According to many experts, such as Elon Musk, this could cause the end of human civilization. Similar to a Terminator-type world, AI could potentially start a war against humans, 
burn crops, and do all sorts of tragedies once reserved to human functions. At that point in theory, we could not stop it because AI would have already thought of all the obstacles that will prevent its goal. This means that we cannot unplug the machine. In effect, AI will replace human intelligence. Will this happen in the next 10 to 30 years? No. The field of artificial intelligence is not sophisticated enough to do many human tasks that humans currently do. Currently, AI is not smart enough to be empathetic to humans and cannot think strategically enough to solve complex problems. AI solutions can be expensive and have to go through many different tests and standards to implement. It also takes time for AI to improve. For example, Boston Dynamics, one of the world's top robotics companies, had a robot in 2009 that needed assistance to walk. Fast forward to 2019, not only could the robot walk by itself, but it could jump over objects, do backflips, and so much more. In addition to the timing, it takes time for the price of any new technological solution to drop to a point where it is affordable. For example, a desktop computer costs around $1,000 in 1999. Now you can get a significantly more powerful laptop for the exact same price. AI will go through the same curve. But what happens after those 10 to 30 years? Will AI make human intelligence obsolete? Maybe. As we have proven earlier, AI will become faster, better, cheaper. Uh, baby, you're making it better, faster, stronger. Oh. As this happens, more and more companies will use AI technology to automate more and more jobs to save money, increase production, and most importantly, to stay competitive. As we have demonstrated, AI will become better through repetition via the use of machine learning. The only difference is that AI will be able to learn faster as time progresses due to the amount of data that is available today. It will also be able to learn from other machines or similar machines to learn how to optimize its tasks or new important skills. However, AI does not also just do repetitive and routine tasks better. It will also be able to understand emotional intelligence, ethics, and creativity. This is seen in three distinct examples. Example 1, IBM. IBM uses its IBM Watson to program the AI to create a movie trailer. The movie Morgan was used. Fox approached IBM and said they have a new movie coming out on AI sci-fi horror. They asked IBM if their platform, IBM Watson, could create a trailer. By reviewing and watching the footage and searching for scary, sad, happy, and other moments in the movie that provoked quality emotion based on how the machine was programmed to identify such emotions in a quantifiable manner, IBM Watson was able to generate a trailer for the movie Morgan. The result? A trailer created by machines. Example 2. Google. In 2018, Google demonstrated an AI assistant that could take calls and do simple stuff. The AI was able to set up a hair appointment. What was more fascinating was that it was able to understand the nuances of the conversation. The receptionist thought it was a human being that was calling her. This is a very primitive version of what is possible with this technology. Eventually, it will be able to have conversations just as human beings do, making many sales jobs obsolete. Example 3. AI Generated Art In 2018, Obvious, a Paris art collective consisting of three students used AI to generate a portrait. It generated the portrait painting by studying a set of 15,000 art images on WikiArt. It was estimated to be worth between $7,000 and $10,000. The painting sold at an auction for $435,000 US dollars. However, we cannot say for sure that AI will replace human intelligence. This is because we as a society have started asking the hard questions and are questioning the ethics. Elon Musk founded OpenAI, a research lab whose whole purpose is to promote and discover AI in a way to benefit humanity. In addition to this, there are many other factors that affect the long-term outcome of AI replacing human intelligence. To what degree will other humans allow for AI to take over? Depending on the field, do people want AI to help them? Or will they prefer the human counterpart? While we at 1% Nation may not be able to control what happens in the long run, we can definitely secure our short-term future. Here are the top 7 skills that will not become obsolete. 1. Strategic and creative thinking. The ability to think outside the box is very human. There are thousands upon thousands of slightly different possible outcomes that may result from every distinguishable action. The human mind with its ability to judge from experience is programmed for these purposes in a far more sophisticated manner than AI can currently achieve. As the billionaire founder of Alibaba, Jack Ma famously said, 
AI has logic, human beings have wisdom. Two, conflict resolution and negotiation. With our understanding of the complexities of human-related processes and our ability to improvise and judge, we are far better equipped to deal with conflict than robots are ever likely to be. 3. Emotional Intelligence and Empathy AI may be able to recognize faces and images, but it can rarely successfully read the feelings of those faces. Humans to lesser or greater degrees are capable of the accurate analysis of emotional subtext, the application of intuition and the use of delicately worded or elusive language. Through these methods, we are able to properly judge how a person feels. 4. Interpretation of gray areas. Robots and computers function well when presented with quantifiable data. However, once a situation enters a gray area, whether this term refers to morals, processes, or definitions, robots are more likely to falter. Remember, intelligence is not wisdom. 5. Critical thinking. Humans are capable of responding to more indicators of quality than computers are. While an AI system may be able to analyze a document according to the true or false statements made within the text, we can judge whether or not it is well written and analyze the implication of the use of certain words and the overall meaning of the content. 6. Problem Solving AI cannot yet be determined to solve problems in the same way that a human mind can. We are capable of working from experience, analyzing and responding to failures or mistakes from our own accord. Navigating complications and obstacles and understanding the complex reasons why a problem has arisen in the first place. 7. Planning. Because we are able to predict outcomes, make informed assumptions, and lay the groundwork for complicated processes, humans are great planners. We know that schedules change and we can create backup plans for that eventuality. We understand the strengths and weaknesses and tendencies of every individual and process involved in our plan. And we can prioritize tasks in order to make every step effective. AI is not yet capable of navigating these nuanced elements. Thank you for watching the 1% Engineer Show where we empower young engineers to rise to the top 1% of their careers. If you are not already, hit that subscribe button. What are your thoughts on artificial intelligence? Comment below. Till next time. Cheers. Hey, 1% Nation. Thanks for watching that video that Hamza and Sadu produced. Thanks again, guys, for making that awesome piece of content for the community. If you guys want to join the team and do things just like this, comment below. We can give you a virtual internship. We have about 20 people doing that now. Check out the free 1% Engineer Kit below. Access to the Discord server with over 500 engineers and our IG page. Ran by a cool engineer named Rose. Thank you, Rose. Thanks again for watching the show, guys. Comment below if you liked this video and check out another video, guys. We have 120 episodes and we'll see you again in another video. Bye-bye.